I think I said a minute ago that I often like to return to places I photograph. I'm really interested in in the the process of time and and how well how things change over time. In Beulah, Mississippi, there's this basketball court. The court of it is clearly uh, the foundation of a former building. It's got this great sycamore tree growing next to it. I've photographed it in the winter. I've photographed it in the spring. I've photographed it when the goal has been down. And I like that idea. I mean, sometimes I'm, I'm re-photographing something and thinking, why am I doing this again? I already have a picture of it. But I don't really uh, think of it that way. I, I think of it more that what interests me about some of these spaces is the way that they evolve and change. And in some cases, the way they come and then they go. And the photographer changes, and so you photograph things differently. This one church at Estill, Mississippi, this uh, New Hope Missionary Baptist Church, I have photographed I don't know how many times. I think I photographed it the first time, 1989 or 1990. It was still functioning. I didn't, when I photographed it this first time, I had no plan, idea, thought that I would photograph it again. It was like, there it is, I'll take a picture of it. But I have been back to it probably every year or so since then. So I could bore the most uh, interested photo people by showing 25 pictures of the same church over 25 years, taken with the same camera. and. And not all of those are good pictures. That's the other thing that happens. I mean, they're, they're all documents in some way. Uh, probably, a, you know, a fraction of them are interesting pictures in and of themselves. It's about light, too, as much as it's about anything else. I, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't photograph this on just any day, and I wouldn't photograph, I mean, I might photograph it in a rainstorm, but I, but I would be as attuned to the light as to the, to the content. The same is true of this, of these, Fish. I mean, there's something about the light coming from the back, the fact that this ba is backlit, that is both breaks the rules of, of the photographic, you know, always have the sun behind you, as it says on the Kodak film instructions. But, um, but there's something that, that just makes it sort of dance visually um, this way. And I'm always very, I've always been very interested in the sort of uh, beautiful quality of something like a fish, something so simple. I think photography is so much more interesting sometimes when it looks at things that are just as, as simple as can be. That I took pictures of people with these fish, but I also took this, and I, I love the way the fish are working with the water behind it and the cypress trees and all the, I mean, I could talk about it forever, but it doesn't amount to anything if it doesn't sort of evoke a certain uh, feeling in and of itself.